For decades, China's long recognized sovereignty over islands in the South China Sea was a non-issue in the international community. All was settled until the Philippines attempted to claim islands and reefs far off its shores, and the world's media picked up on the story. It became headline news in 2013 when the Philippines initiated international arbitration procedures in an attempt to extend its previously well-defined sea territory. On the surface, the move might seem like an attempt to seek a resolution, but the Philippines is only bluffing. It knows full well that China will never accept arbitration over a make-believe or imaginary dispute. This doesn't mean China isn't willing to discuss issues and resolve the spat. The row has been simmering since the 1970s when the Philippine Navy tried to occupy islands far from its shores. The Philippines' territory has been very specifically demarcated by a series of binding international treaties that are still in effect. These include the Treaty of Paris, signed in 1898, and the Treaty of Washington that came into effect two years later. There is also the convention between the U.S. and U.K., signed in 1930. Treaties that gave the Philippines its independence clearly limit its authority over outlying islands to a 12 nautical mile breadth from its mainland. The islands that Philippines is now attempting to claim are well over 100 nautical miles out into the South China Sea. After accepting its internationally negotiated independence in 1946, the Philippines government soon began to attempt to wiggle out of the multiple treaties it had signed and ratified. During the law of the sea conferences in 1958 and 1960, the Philippines' attempt to increase its sea territory was thwarted. When the United States objected to the expansion, an important international precedent, recognizing China's sovereignty over the Nancha Islands, came at the end of World War II with the surrender of Japan and the signing of the Cairo Declaration, 1943, and the Potsdam Proclamation, 1945. Those international documents laid the foundation for rebuilding the post-war world order. The Cairo Declaration required Japan to surrender all Chinese territory it had so brutally occupied and seized, including Shisha Islands and Nansha Islands in the South China Sea. After the defeat of Japan, China in 1946 restored its sovereignty of Shisha Islands and Nansha Islands in the South China Sea. In 1948, the Chinese government again proclaimed its territorial boundary in the South China Sea. For the next 22 years, the international community raised no serious objections. Numerous maps and books published in both China and other parts of the world clearly show the Nansha Islands are under China's jurisdiction. 